In this video I'm going to show you some troubleshooting tips and how to maintain your Hayward Aquanaut or Phoenix cleaner. So to determine if you need a two or four wheel model, it's pretty easy. If your pool is eight feet or deeper, go with the four wheel model. If you have a very large pool or if your skimmer is on one end of the pool, I would also suggest the four wheel model because it comes with two extra meters of hoses. If you have a small to medium sized pool or if the side port on a large pool is in the middle, you can go ahead and go with the two wheel model. So the gearing and parts on this cleaner are very long lasting. You shouldn't have to do any kind of repairs on it for at least three or four years. The only thing you have to keep an eye on are these rubber tires here. So depending on your pool surface, these rubber tires will wear down every 12 to 18 months. And you can see these wear marks here on the tire. Once it wears down to these marks here, go ahead and change these tires. And these tires are very easy to change. They just pull right off the cleaner. You have the Aquanaut 400 or 450. Just pull the back tires off also. Should come off fairly easily. And there's no need to take the wheels off the back to put the tires back on. Just simply take it and put it around the bottom and pull it around the edge of it. Just make sure the tires are on there straight and snug. Also you'll notice that the front tire has this hump. This helps to get over the main drains in your pool. And the back tire doesn't have a hump, so when you order new tires, the back tires have no humps, and the front tires have the hump. So over time, the teeth on these wheels will wear down. To get them off, you just simply get a screwdriver and pop the hubcap off. And the wheel will slide right off. So if you notice your cleaner is not turning well, or not moving well, check these teeth in the wheels. They may be worn down. And the bearings in these wheels should be very long lasting, so you shouldn't need to change them for a long time. So if you ever do need to change them, they pop out very easily. Just push your thumb here, they slide right out. If you notice the hose is getting tangled in the pool, it could be the swivel being jammed with debris. Go ahead and see if it spins freely. You can also hose it off. Occasionally a large piece of debris will get jammed in the cleaner. Simply take these two screws off the top here. This piece will slide right off. Okay, to get any clogged debris, go ahead and remove this last screw. And the top of the cleaner will slide right off. So go ahead and spin the V-Flex turbine, remove any debris that may be jammed in here. And if you have a Pebble Tech pool, or a pool where there's a lot of small rocks, you may get a little pebble stuck in here. So go ahead and remove the veins. Check to see that there's no pebble stuck in here. This will also stop the cleaner from working. Also, if your pool has very large debris, you can actually run the cleaner with veins removed. So go ahead and take out a couple veins. So the cleaner will operate fine with two veins removed. Larger debris will pass through a lot easier. So the gearing system on the Aquanaut and the Phoenix cleaners is very long lasting. You shouldn't have to do any kind of gearing repair for at least four years or longer. And the cover slides very easily back into place. Go ahead and put the screw back in. Go ahead and slide the cover back on. This front piece goes in a notch here. And we'll put the screws back in. The Aquanaut Phoenix Cleaners comes with a medium inlet throat installed on the cleaner. If you have the right size pump and you want better wall climbing ability, you can install the large inlet throat that comes with the cleaner. And if you have a variable speed pump and you have low suction, you want to go ahead and put the small inlet on there. And to change the suction inlet is very simple. You just push down on these two tabs here, pull out the throat. It's marked L and R. It's also marked L and R here. You just go ahead and put it in here and push down and it should snap right in. I also have installation videos for these cleaners so you can watch those also if you're installing one. And on a lead hose of the cleaner the floats come factory set. You shouldn't have to move these floats at all. And I also suggest getting an inline canister when you install your Hayward Aquanaut or Phoenix cleaner. This will prevent the pump from being clogged up with debris. The Aquanaut and Phoenix cleaners are very easy to operate. You shouldn't have any problems with these cleaners. They're built to last and they're very easy to work on. 